Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to Why This Print Fail. Few days ago, I was about to print some decoration for my house. It would be a quick print as the decoration part is just very small. It all started like usual and everything seems to go well. However, minutes after the printing, I noticed that the first layer is not printing good at all. There are bumps and holes across the entire layer. I had confidence that my nozzle is not clogged, printing settings are good and the heat bed is properly leveled. I listened closer at the extruder. There are some weird sizzling bubble bursting sound. Hmm, something must be wrong with the filament. It is time to do some investigation on the filament. I stopped the printing and prepare for the testing. Looking closer at the extruder, I manually extrude the filaments out from the nozzle. As we can see, the string of filament extruded is not consistent. Some part of the string is thin and some part is thick. We can also observe some tiny gap between the strings which cause the gap at the printing. I think this is caused by wet filament. To prove my idea, I decided to take down the spoiled filament and replace it with another filament. During the removal of the filament, the filament snapped. This is also one of the observations you can observe if the filament is wet. I changed to this filament which is properly kept in a sealant with silica gel. Let's see if we can get a better extrusion flow. Yes! The flow of the filaments becomes smooth once again. The thickness of the extruded filaments is also consistent. I took each extruded filament string out for some comparison. As we can notice, the grey filament string looks thinner than the brown color one. Let us look at the strength of each filament strings. The grey wet filament strings tend to break each time I apply some force to tear it. It broke up very easily. Then, I try to break down the brown filament with the same method. It is very tough and resisting to my pulling force. I try to break it but fail at the end after a few tries. Obviously, it has better toughness than that with the wet filament. So, I pull it harder this time to see if I can manage to break it, but I can't. So, with this new filament, I started to print with the previous G-code. The printing goes well as expected. This also proved that my printing settings are correct, bed is level and the nozzle is in perfect condition. I could have end up solving this problem by easily changing to a good filament, but I don't want to just throw away the entire row of grey filament which is a big waste. So I start to look across the internet to see if I can find any method to cure the wet filament. The internet says that we can actually cure our wet filament by baking it using the oven. Thus, I decide to give it a try. Okay, I think maybe it is not that proper to mix up printing stuff and kitchenware. I might need to proceed with another solution. Special thanks to this company for providing me with the alternate solution, a filament dehydrator machine. So, I will try out this machine to see if it helps to cure my wet filaments. There is a list of settings for each type of the filaments that the machine can cure. I set up the proper setting for my PLA filament and start to cure the filament. I decide to let the machine cure my filament for some time before I start to print with it. Let's see if the curing of the filaments make any changes to the filament properties. It seems like the filament become tougher and not easily break after the cure. So let's see what it can do for the printing. I tried to print the decoration once again using the cured filament. The dehydrator machine is on the whole time along my printing to provide a better condition of the filament.
Here is the result of the wet filament printing after the curing sessions. The printing seems a lot better after the cure of the machine. I'm glad that it actually worked out. So before the video end, I will make some conclusion regarding today's printing failure. The main reason is the wet filament caused by improper storage. The solution is to change to another filament and if you don't want to waste your filament, you might as well get a filament dehydrator to cure the filament. However, you can always prevent this failure to happen by simply store your unused filament properly. Finally, if you think that this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it to your friends. You might be the savior along the journey of 3D printing. As always, thanks and happy printing.